have some good? Why do you call the poet like on that sound? <laughs> what do you say to make him understand? <laughs> 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 That was great. That's the best intro I've ever had. <laughs> the camera didn't catch it? Come on. Call a poet named Clyde Matson. What do you say to make him understand? That's as far as I go. Fix your mind and bends. And you should finish the rest because that's as far as I go. That's wonderful. We should get you on. Are you going to read on the open? I am. Wonderful. Okay. I'm not so going to play like singing. I'm going to sing. <laughs> and dance. <laughs> okay, so Clyde. Well, he's been teaching and writing. He's um, either a former or present beat man. And. That's <laughs> <laughs> better than a dead beat, right? <laughs> yeah, I haven't quite got there yet, but I'm on my way. <laughs> <laughs> Clive is the most encouraging, sweet, kind, gentle, <clears throat> lovely person. Oh, sorry, I got carried away. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for saying that, Jeannie. I can, there's no way I can live up she to that. <laughs> okay, so Clive won a, a Lifetime Achievement Award at a Berkeley Poetry Festival. He was voted Best Writer of the Bay Area in uh, Bay Poetry um, Express, Bay East, East, East Bay Express. Express, thank you. East Bay Express, is that right? right? Yes. Teacher. Yeah. Best teacher, yeah, Best right. Teacher. right, right teacher. So um, I've had, I'll second that. Okay, <laughs> yeah. Um, I've had some classes Ooh. with Clive and, and consider him a friend, and so I'm a little biased. <laughs> but he's got a, a whopper of a poem, yeah. and um, we're about to hear the first part of it, and I'm out of things to say, Clive, so why don't oh, you good. Okay. Let's hear it for Clive. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you for being here, everybody. I, we read from the Scribbler last night, and I, I just couldn't help but talk about the two things, two posters I've seen that really got me, and one was for the Oakland teacher's strike. It's about this big. And it said, higher rents, lower wages, zero teachers, do the math. <laughs> I love it. It's like, it's so obvious. It got both sides there. And if you don't get the math, clearly you need the teachers to be able to get that math. And the other one was a, a poster that uh, John Mayatek sent me, and he collects all these jokes. And uh, one series of images he sent me were posters about Trump, and there's a poster that someone was carrying around right after he was elected that said, don't blame Trump. He did everything humanly possible during his campaign Absolutely. to show us he's unfit for the job. <laughs> Isn't that great? Yeah. It's <laughs> yeah. So what, what we're doing in the classes and what this is so much about is just being real. I just, uh, this whole thing started backpacking and I'm a place that I'd love to go that has crystals and I was up there in, in uh, 2016 and there was no snowpack and there was smudge on the horizon from a fire and the lakes were down, a lot of the trees were dying. And it was probably just a dip, but suddenly it just looked like the next time I came up there it was going to be unrecognizable. And I could feel that I'm a Western guy, you know. I have to go out and dig a hole in the ground. And that's what we've been doing to the planet. So the template of how this happened was in my own plexus. And that's when I kind of fell into the grief and started writing this poem. And since then what happens over and over again is I read these articles like on Counterpunch or Common Sense or The New Yorker where somebody's very smart, even somebody like um, Bill McKibben who's, who started 351, he's done some great stuff and he wrote this great article 
about how the oil companies knew what they were doing to the environment and they kind of lied to the public. And he had it all documented. He gets toward the end of the article and then he starts talking about how they're making up for it. So you get to the end of the article and you can feel okay about what's happening. And what the fuck? He's just fucking lying. He's just fucking lying. And that's when I got so excited when I read Christine Mattis's article called Gloom and Doom. And she got halfway through the article and I keep waiting for her to let me out of the article and say something nice. And she said instead, we can't science our way out of these crises. I thought, oh my God, there's a like mind. And uh, I kept going down the article and kept waiting for her to let me out. She didn't. And then she made a list at the end of the things we have to do. And I just, anyway. Christine Mattis, M-A-T-T-I-S. And she publishes, she says she has a piece on the Green New Deal that will be on Counterpunch on Monday. Mm -hmm. So I like everything she writes because she does. She tells the truth. So. What's Counterpunch magazine? It's an online. Uh, <coughs> how would you describe it? It's, it has a. She's a blogger. No, but no, it's the, the, the real estate. <laughs> um, it, it's an online left. Where's this? Progressive. Like salon. Well, no. It's further out. It's, yeah, that publishes articles um, every day, well, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, the same, but every day new articles that are progressive, some artistic, but generally from what in this country at least would be called the left side. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, I, one thing I found in rehearsing this that I start getting into grief and I start slobbering mm -hmm. and rather than having it drool I'm going to use this <laughs> after I do it a few times when I use this across my face it's going to make the, my face all wet and another thing I'll do is I have there are all these quotes in here this is very collaborative and uh, there's several people here who I've quoted a lot Alana and Ezra and I tend to change the quotes to get it to fit what I'm doing. And I'll say quote before I do the quote, and then afterwards I'm just going to say the name rather than making more of a deal of it. But I feel like I should honor you guys just by doing that much. Okay, it's hello paradise, paradise goodbye. Buildings line up in rows like tombstones in the twilight glow. And power poles lean to and fro like crosses sinking into earth and fertile loam. Can you feel the ocean wind caress your skin with oxygen and hints of jumping fish and salt and foam? Oh my mother, oh my father, what do we see? What do we know? People crowd the streets and country roads from school to market to work to home and to bedroom ease. From church to bar to restaurant to car and doorway cubbyhole. Yes, we can preen, quote, we can don our grubs and city clothes, promenade the tile paved walks and sashay through spinning doors into the sugar air of shops routinely stacked with ribbons, glitz, and gold. It's Jane McPherson. We can cruise by plate glass windows, cleaned and clothed and tidied skeletons with wide open, astonished eyes, stunned, bloodshot, wise. Oh, my father, why have you forsaken us? My blood father, our multitude of fathers, myriad ancestors, spirit guides, blessed gurus, why have you abandoned us? 18-wheeler over Donner Crest, 20-foot visibility in snow blind, one spot in featureless white, illumined by a flashlight. Quote, it's after the end of the world, Sun Ra. When dawn creeps up the ancient sky and touches mountain peaks with fire, 
when dawn eases into valleys, caresses night across the fields, and begins its dance on silent feet across the rooftops, what do we see? Do we see light touch shacks and skyscrapers, rowboats and marina yachts with equal fingers? Will we see dawn light up a highway underpass, bend low and touch the folks in tents wrapped in blankets, old and under houses? Singed hair and knit hats and bludgeoned souls. Light embraces everything, everywhere the same. One edgy brown and yellow flash in your eyes, one knowing splash from our spirit's ancient underground tide. Saxophone riffs blow across the ridge and blow through trees. Oh, my mother. Oh, my father, how do these frayed and sky-bright fragments fit together? How can we navigate this chaos profusion? What enlightened deity would cast us here adrift in stark confusion? Not Jesus, not Buddha, not Mohammed, not Black Elk, not Lao Tzu, not Calvin. Not Rumi, not Ali, not Shakespeare. They are not all-knowing. They don't know. We know, and we don't know. Solana Levy. Hello, paradise. Paradise, goodbye. The darkness surrounds, and what the hell? By a goddamn big car and drive, he said. It's Creeley. Smoke, she said. Screw, he said. Fly, she said. Hello, country roads shrinking to a micro point. Distant mountains cloaked in feathery dust. Hello, clouds moving over scattered oak and pine. Hello, paradise. Paradise, hello. Hello, swim in snow melt around sun-worn boulders. Tiny flowers reflect blue in your glasses. Hello, olives and tomatoes and miners' lettuce salad. Can we believe our eyes? Believe the splendor approaching from all sides. Receive resplendence everywhere encroaching, everywhere reproaching. Glints of sunlight, haphazard patterns on the lake. Can these be semaphores? Can these be corners of God's many handkerchiefs angling through the water? Are they flashes of Gaia's fingers dancing on her well-worn flute? Oh, this must be Earth's core's crystal lattice, looping up with facets shining through psilocybin light in such bold cold we won't miss. This is paradise. You see it when you believe it. Paper trash and tree branch shadows flicker on Eden sidewalk. Jasmine and trellis roses festoon a chain link fence in Eden's bowers. Passenger jets blink white and red in Eden's night. City towers string lights and greens and blues that blur in tear streaked eyes to necklaces of radiant hues. Paradise. Paradise here and now. Not later, not a dream, not a book, not the afterlife, here and now. Hello, treading water in mountain pools, arms splashing in brown skin, flushing and flashing eyes. Quote, this is it, no limits, no gimmicks, it's RJD2. Quote, it's after the end of the world. Hello, hello, steel spoke wheels spinning lazily in the flowing stream. It's from Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid. Remember that image? It's awesome. Hello, paradise, paradise, hello, resplendence everywhere approaching, everywhere encroaching, everywhere reproaching. Hello, waving joyous arms at the bandstand, guitar, electric guitars, and brontosaurus rumbles. 
alone mimicking wrists, mimicking shoulders, mimicking hands, mimicking waists, mimicking butts, waving ten fingers times ten times ten at the sky times ten, a low ear to ear smiling and every centimeter meant, a low line in sand in the sun's infrareds, you whisper in my ear, I whisper in yours, paradise. You see it when you believe it. Hello, hello, syncopated beat of simple hearts, lighting synapses in a gentle glow, organic electric ooze and jelly boos of fragile, jostling brains, pure, ever-living joy, my tender friend, pure joy, flashing through cracks in the mirror, it's a lane shimmer, light, touches everything, everywhere the same. Singed hair and bludgeoned souls and knit hats. Oh my mother, oh my father, what has happened? Why am I so haunted? Why do rooftop gardens, green yards and shop line streets reverse, revert, rescind, apocalypse? Apocalypse exposed, bruised gray destruction, twisted limbs, broken rebar, slabbed and cracked cement. Why am I stunned, disrupted, bewildered anew, and nothing's familiar? Trees and grass glint poison green under a sky washed demon blue. Can we not feel bumping chests in the mosh pit? Can we not see lying on the beach in sun-warmed sand? Do we not feel? The house fence song warps into a dirge. Spring winds toss sensuous limb madrone in death-like agonies. A dog's sweet eyes submerge and drown in sorrow immeasurable. I fell into a hole. Crawl space and concrete floor so narrow a knife-edged tapering arrow seeped with sadness and grief. A low, steel-spoked wheel spins lazily in the flowing stream. Oh, my mother, oh, my father, what do we see? What do we know? New condos, panels, and polished sides, smooth yellow and green. My forearm femur, a gray, porous contrast. Geiger counting plutonium in my bones. A bar's lit sign, too colorful, too slick, too neon bright. Above a shopping cart jammed with bottles and cans. A garbage collector's face looks out from hell. I fell into a hole with no way out. Quote, say it loud, aren't you proud? Look what we're handing down, it's RJD2. Destruction and death, death on every wall, wool runners in the hall, curl up trip hazard and strange, color photos in the mall, beige desert, aqua beach, green forest ignited and streaming in flame, it's John Wieners. Light touches everything, everywhere the same. Not later, not a dream, not a book, not the afterlife. Here and now, paradise here and now. Saxophone riffs come over the bridge and blow through trees. 13.8 billion years, big bang to these centuries. 13.8 billion and sapiens evolve. 200,000 more along with nature until today, until this present, 13.8 billion for this planet, this ocean, this oak line park, this breeze through dark green leaves replete with oxygen, 13.8 billion years for this breath. Hello, science revealing how long it took to get here. Hello, science guessing how long we've got left.
13.8 billion years for these mitochondria, this granodiorite, this loam, this finger, this fingernail, this bright blue damsel fly hovering over rocks, 13.8 billion for this manzanita, this weathered limestone, this red-tinged red shooting star, this black and white striped osprey winging over marshland, 13.8 billion years for this marsh. 100 years more and the marsh is gone. 20 more and frogs are a memory. 10 more and not one wild giraffe. Six dozen more and an enclave in the valley. Can that be our future? A pocket meadow and table mountain two ranges over. A shack leaning against rock walls. Can that be our bright future? Beyond hedges and copses, a cluster of beehives, organic tomatoes and berries in a patchwork between streams. You peer out from under the shadow and joy gleams in your eye. That's Walter Benjamin. Joy at the green, the loam, the sky, the galaxy. Quote, it's all about you and me. It's all about humanity. Bless you. All about the family. Quote, it's after the end of this world. Who is that leaning on a shovel? Who is that in 20 acres, callous on palms, muscle in forearms, light in eyes, turning over the growing grass? Under cover of bandoliered farmers, 30-06s, M4s, and AKs, guarding a track to one fertile watershed in the foothills, if they're in luck, if our children are in luck. One hundred years more and foothills are underwater muck. Can that be our future? What the fuck? <laughs> Didn't we feel pure joy in the, rivers, in the river's flow? Didn't we see pure delight in sun's light? Didn't we dance enchanted 19 centuries ago, meteors streaking the Gnostic sky? 40,000 people relive that moment in species memory, dancing naked in dark of total eclipse. It's Kyra loving. Isn't joy in our blood, our bones, our cells? Since when is joy a commodity to sell? Saxophone riffs circle the ridge and blow through trees. Happy go lucky. Sing a song, how could we go so terribly wrong? Goodbye, paradise. Paradise, goodbye. Light embraces everything, everywhere the same. Hello, frost glistening on eye level windows, sky and cloud reflections on high rise glass. Hello, elevator hum counterpoint to Riley Bach and rumble of city traffic. Hello, step on the running board, hair streaming in motion wind. Hello, jogging the park, hair streaming in motion wind. Paradise, you see it when you believe it. Haven't you heard? Don't you know? When hillsides subside to sediment, we go. When wetlands and meadowlands salinity rises, when creek banks erode, when rivers defile, we go. 36 months, the planet warmed one half degree centigrade. And how many trillion tons of dead rock heated to viscous plastic? Mountains, valleys, core, mantle plates, and now they stress moving up the Richter scale. How many trillion tons of plastic rock compress for the next quake? Don't count. You don't want to know. When rivers go, we go. And rivers are challenged. The Mississippi, Missouri, Ohio, 
Ganges, Nile, Tigris, challenged. The Yangtze, Euphrates, Danube, River Seine, Volga, Thames, Murmbergi, Lobuk, Ebro, Mekong, Brazos, River Khan, Saraswati, Colombia with trivalent chromium and strontium-90, challenged. And the rest, all the rest, challenged. When the Amazon goes, we go. Paradise, goodbye. Goodbye, paradise. You peer out from under the shadow, laughing and weeping. Laceworks of rivers play under our eyelids. Saxophone riffs blow through trees and circle the ridge. When bullfrogs go, when tree frogs go, tonless frogs, salamanders, newts, glass frogs, fire belly toads, horny toads, spadefoot toads, bush frogs, red eyed frogs, ghost frogs. 6,000 amphibians we know and thousands more frogs and toads we haven't met and haven't named. These beings articulated and strange before, beside, beyond the myth of human supremacy. That's Derek Jensen. When they go, we go. Quote, you want darker? Everyone a marker. <laughs> Leonard Cohen. 100 species die every day. Ghosts gather in swirling smoke and haze. Talk to the hand. Talk to the hand. Goodbye 30 years ago, bass crawk, crawk, and damp evenings around the quarry pond. Crawk, crawk, echoed off sandstone cliffs through pompous grass. The coarse duet, exultant, chilling, profound. One block away, the highway rumbles through town and the sixth extinction, the seventh, the eighth. The frogs gone, the pond gone too. Quote, forgive me Gaia for I have sinned. I forgot to ask permission before weeding the habitat where this butterfly resides. Kyra Loving. Forgive us, Gaia. We forgot to ask permission to destroy habitats. Not the frogs, not the jackrabbits, the salamanders, raccoons, possums, mountain lions, not the elks, the wolverines, white breasted owls, buffaloes, roadrunners, pheasants, thrashes, not the crested bats, the white rhinos, tigers, elephants, cheetahs. Jaguars, not the bears, the limpets, the white-tailed rabbits. Forgive us, Gaia. We did not ask permission to destroy the habitat of Homo sapiens. Bottom ecology, beyond any bottom we understand. Quote, forgive me, Gaia, for I have sinned. I forgot to breathe with the one who all day breathes for me. Kyra Loving. You want darker? Everyone a marker. Ghosts gather in swirling smoke and haze. Quote, it's after the end of the world. The darkness surrounds and what the hell? By a goddamn big car and drive, he said. Smoke, she said. Screw, he said. Fly, she said. Hello, paradise. Paradise goodbye. Stand in the hurricane and stare it in the eye. Contrails write obituaries across the sky. I cannot do this. I cannot continue. Bullshit, baby, you're not so basement blue. Joy and intuition flash through cracks in the mirror. It's a lane swimmer. What the hell, stop crying. There's much to view. Instagram, Snapchat, Twitter, Facebook, YouTube. Earth going catastrophic, megalotrophic, biomass trophic. 
finger-jabbing hilarious comics, lips curled satanic, popping eyes with brows arching to cranium peak, self-reflecting, sin-affecting, crime-protecting, water-warming, and sea-rising and tornadoes descending. Consider, sweetheart, the entertainment value, TVs, Notepads, smartphones, wall screens, in coffee houses, upscale, downscale, midscale, last gasp landscapes display, animals, humans, vegetables, trees, deserts, sea views, last gasps as we know them, last gasps of our world on TVs in living rooms those of us who have living rooms, those of us who have TVs. Feed me. Feed me images so I don't have to feel. Our cells know, our bones know, paleolimbics know, primitive heart knows. Surfboarder shoots through an ocean wave tunnel overarching water splattered with plastic and wrappers, a trash barrel. Light embraces everything, everywhere the same. The last giraffe stretches in a zoo cage and chomps roof-high eucalyptus. The last frog initiates mating ritual with a bent stick. The last jaguar stalks its vanished partner in Amazon basement, stepping proud, next to last humans busting caps, 38 aimed at ghosts in the evening cloud, before, beside, beyond, the myth of human supremacy. <laughs> Two chlorophyll cells and one amoeba survive, restart photosynthesis, continue robust and thrive in one blink of geologic time. Life arises eons and eons ahead of first tries, and the planet spawns earth mold, cockroaches, slime, repopulates with creatures we never imagine. Without frogs, son of a gun, you're so correct. The planet will be fine. Only this biosphere destroyed 13.8 billion years in the making, 13.8 billion years in shaping this joy. Quote, what on earth are we doing here on earth? Messing with the biosphere. That's a Living Waters brochure. Quote, it's after the end of the world. Mysterious tears flow out your eyes, copious and joyful, streaming through primitive heart and bones. Flute notes dance and weave through wind and still air. Have you felt the wind west of Santa Rosa Peak, along Kingston Range, east of the Rockies, the Sierra, Hampshire's White Mountains, over White Cliffs of Dover, down the crest of San Jacinto, in canyons behind Lee Vining, in Morocco from the Sahara on the Sinai Peninsula, over the Arab sands, the Nagua Desert, Imperial Valley, shores of the Dead Sea, along Mono Lake, through Bodie Hills. Have you noticed the wind tickle your ears, rough your hair, and fluff open eyes, cleanse your lungs, Sinuses, minds, wind spins around the poles, rows through the stratosphere, drops to shred pine needles, buckbush twigs, and loose straw. Have you felt the wind blowing through your head? You want darker? Everyone a marker. Worship as you please. Whatever trance brings you to gratitude, don't blame. Ghosts gather in smoke and swirling haze. Quote, the creator has a master plan. 
turn these cities into rust and sand, <laughs> morph our bodies into dust and sky, place the planet in our clever hands, watch the kingdoms either live or die. Animal, vegetable, woman, man, make a paradise or hell right here. Symbiosis with the biosphere. Light embraces everything, everywhere the same. Peer out from under the shadow through cracks in the mirror. Joy, grief, shame, doom. Oh, my mother, why have you forsaken us, my blood mother, our multitude of mothers, myriad ancestors, spirit guides, blessed gurus, why have you abandoned us? They're not all-knowing. They don't know. We know, and we don't know. Quote by a goddamn big car and drive, he said. Smoke, she said. Screw, he said. Fly, she said. Stand in the hurricane and stare it in the eye. Contrails write obituaries across the sky. Hello, paradise. Paradise, goodbye. You see it when you believe it. Resplendence everywhere approaching, everywhere encroaching, everywhere reproaching. This one moment in eonic time, two opposites collide. We recognize this planet is paradise. Clang, we notice we're destroying it. Did you blink? Did the universe blink? It's after the end of the world. Stand on the prow of this frail ship, roaring ocean and galaxies and force of wind up to sleeves, awed great majesty, it's Allen Ginsberg, and pervasive tenderness of life flowing through hearts and veins, pure motherfucking joy, motherfuck, pure joy. Flute notes dance and weave through wind and still air. One glimpse of stars' elaborate machinery. One glimpse atoms and intricate interacting particles. One glimpse articulated cells and worlds of microbes. One glimpse psychology and our layered spirits. Dust of stars exploded. Ashes of burnt roses. One glimpse. Oh. One glimpse and the door closes. When hillsides subside to shorelines, we go. When salinity rises in loam, we go. When rivers defile, we go. When the Amazon goes, we go. Talk to the hand, talk to the hand. Stand at the divide, stand on the knife-sharp edge, careful not to rip your pants. What paradise, white man? What side of your mouth's talking? What pretty trash, what self-fulfilling dream, what sweet bubble you living in? Government of the people? <laughs> Government by the people? Government for the people? You're not angry, you're not paying attention. Endless, <coughs> endless tears and hopelessness for our failing Eden. Government of a few billionaire families. Government by the billionaire's lackeys. Government for the corporal fluctuations. Boeing, Raytheon, Northrop, General Dynamics, Lockheed Martin, and the rest. We owe our existence to the billionaires' wish to keep their yachts, to keep their mansions with gray smoke curling through tile chimneys of a dozen fireplaces, their wives, their husbands, their chefs, their maids, their trainers, their vineyards, their jets, their portfolios, their banks, their billion-dollar arms deals, their mountain homes, pools in Bali, in Cabo, in the Maldives, in Nice, in Belize. I don't even know how to pronounce these places. Seychelles? Seychelles? Seychelles. Seychelles. 
Is that how you say it? Seychelles? Seychelles. In Antilles, in Bahamas, in Dubai, that one again. Keep their masseuses, their concert halls, their gigolos, their mistresses, poignant sweet trio on Swiss balcony and sunlit escarpment overlooking glacier-sided peaks searing white and dark brown. It's after the end of the world. We owe our existence to billionaires' wish to avoid nuclear winter. The Rothschilds, Rockefellers, Morgans, Bezos, Gates, Carnegies, Zuckerbergs, Musks, Waltons, is it Buffets or Buffets? Buffet. Buffet. <laughs> and the rest, all the rest. Notice we know those names, huh? you guys do anyway. One, two, buckle my shoe. Three, four, shut the door. Peer through cracks in the mirror from under the shadow, touch my arm and desire hums in bone marrow. 13.8 billion years big bang to their wealth. 13.8 billion for their tennis courts, racing cars, swimming, it goes on and on, swimming pools, pool tables, golf courses, opera houses, penthouses, thoroughbred horses, 47K roadsters, summer homes, ski resorts, TV stations, ballparks, ball teams, 13.8 billion for high rises moving like pieces on chessboard lots of a hundred cities. 13.8 billion years for their fingers moving high rise ponds. 13.8 billion years for Bezos 11.5 million per hour. The creator has a master plan turn these cities into rust and sand. Did you blink? Did the universe blink? It's after the end of the world. Corporations, 85 billion unpaid taxes hidden offshore in shelters wherever. Their tr trillion dollar assets more than the lower half of the planet. More than the continent of Asia cities of Africa, more than backstreet continents of North America, more than half the planet, and half the planet is hungry. If you're not angry, you're not paying attention. One hungry person is too many. One. Mysterious tears flow through your primitive heart and bones and out your eyes copious and joyful. Saxophone riffs circle the ridge and blow through trees. This is it. No gimmicks, no limits. It's RJD2. You want to brand and market this? A mother catchy fucking phrase to sell? Hell, slap the trendy cell high and dry on an empty shelf. This is plainly stated it's what we get. Deal. The more sciences reveal macro, macro to micro, micro, the more rare, the more magical, the more paradisical, the here and now. We evolved along with this evolving planet, paradise by Darwinian happenstance. Quote, paradise by divine dispensation. Ilana Levy. Paradise. You see it when you believe it. This one moment in eonic time, two opposites collide. We recognize this planet is paradise, clang. We notice we're destroying it. One, two, buckle my shoe. Three, four, shut the door. Quote by a goddamn big car and drive, he said, drink, she said, toke, he said, fight, she said, oh, say, can you see by the dawn's surly light? <laughs> Shit jobs for everybody. No, not everybody. Singed hair and bludgeoned souls and knit hats. Light embraces everything, everywhere the same. Sunlight on my arms sprawled out on grass. Your hair tickles my eyes and you whisper in my ear, paradise. Hello, zinc scissors, snipping DNA fragments for sickle cell cure. 
Hello, one week, two weeks partying at Burning Man, skiing Utah's solitude, California's Squaw, Tahoe, the Matterhorn, Annapurna, Everest, Kilimanjaro. Hello, Hubble photos of galaxy-strewn emptiness. Hello, tacos, enchiladas, hot sauce with three cousins in Mamita's warm kitchen. <laughs> Ashes of burnt roses, dust of stars exploded. One glimpse, oh, one glimpse and the door closes. Hello, sixth extinction. Saxophone riffs come over the ridge and blow through trees. Hello, paradise. Paradise, goodbye. Wide open, astonished eyes, stunned. Bloodshot, wise. Oh, say can you see by dawn's early light. Counting on fingers and toes the dollars and cents I earned today. Light embraces everything, everywhere the same. Anxiety gnaws at the door. Prize splinters from the floor. A braid's reddened fingers at keyboard, tapping, slapping, clacking up and down anxiety stairs. Eyes blurry and pink, scanning screens, lists, links, pull down menus and jobs, sinking any well structured mood, pulling hairs, pulling out roots, employment where we won't be fired, where you can retire. Aren't you tired? Singed hair and bludgeoned soles and knit hats. Quote, say it loud. Aren't you proud? Look what we're handing down. Screens jiggle ant and lizard thoughts, pulse constant headache, nagging shame and insect rhythms, nasty, rasping, grasping, thrashing, anxiety, chews at the door and spits out chips. Peering out from under the shadow, tears stream your cheeks and you laugh. One splash of joy through cracks in the mirror. From small truck and canvas tote, an envelope encasing a pink slip drops from blue bag through mail slot with hope, busted and blown out to sea. It's John Wieners. Counting on fingers and toes, the dollars and cents. I did not earn today. Holding down two jobs is servitude. Holding down one job is servitude. <laughs> 175 million people in the richest country can't write a check for $500. It's Danny Goldstein. How many globally? Three billion can't write a check for 50. How many billion? can't write a check. Don't count. You don't want to know. To become free, you have first to be brutally, acutely aware of being a slave. That's via Ilana, and I can't pronounce her name, Joanne Asada Chisimar. Well, Asada Shakur. Asada Shakur. I have it wrong. I have to talk to you. One, two. They're the same person. Oh, they are. OK. God, I learned so much from you, Alana. If I can just hold it in my brain. <laughs> One, this much I can hold in my brain. One, two, buckle my shoe. Three, four, shut the door. Washington dollar bill check cheek. Washington's dollar bill cheeks. This is from Dan Koshner poem. Besmirched with greed, staphylococcus, cholera, hepatitis B. Antibiotic resistant bacteria, MRSA, flu virus, pneumonia bacteria, streptococcus, STDs, mold, fecal matter, coal tan mud, peyote, E. coli, candida, yeast, weed, aspartame, fungi, methamphetamine, heroin, cocaine. You want darker? Everyone a marker. Greed. Greed smooth, cleaned, and iron flat by the bank's eerie machines. The engine running business, 15% profit, 10% expansion, year in, 
year out, and here we are. Money makes the girl, money makes the world go round, go round, go round, and brings it down. <laughs> I'm going to write that down. <laughs> Quote, thank you for your patience. Your call will be answered in the order received. <laughs> Translate, personal contacts costly in you, there is little value perceived. Paradise, <clears throat> paradise pounded by boots for how many centuries? Boots tromping by boots, tromping under boots, tromping over boots, stamped, made in U.S. of A. It's after the end of the world. Ghost boots tromp through our psyches. Talk to the hand, talk to the hand. Boots after boots after boots after boot prints on jungle trails, cleared fields, mine paths, boots through tunnels, boots around the tropics, the Panama Canal, sugarcane farms, pineapple fields, plantain plantations, cotton fields with thorns, along ditches and tomato fields around the globe, boots along the potholes, the Erie Canal, Suez Canal, along the Great Wall, in mines around the world, Brazil gems, Congo coal fan mud, in sewer lines, along power poles, up transformers, waterproof roof tar, in railway tunnels, below mall walls, along skyscraper beams, inside concrete caked aqueducts, Boots. Boots outside air-conditioned offices. Boots trudging beams to the 35th floor. Boots craning marble desktops through the window where chief executive officers in their suits calculate. Boots on necks of unwhite and uncolored and everyone else. You want darker? Everyone a marker. Saxophone riffs circle the ridge and blow through trees. Holy, holy, holy boots. Boots on the stairway, boots in the elevator. Holy, highly polished Carrera marble desktops. Holy, holy human brains sizzle as they add figures and calculate odds. Holy, holy, holy sons of bitches in Brooks Brothers suits rubbing their chins. Holy the son of a bitch, calling the sons of bitches, sons of bitches. Holy, 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 San Andreas fault moving factories into the Pacific inch by inch. Holy exoskeletons heated and compressed into smooth veined rock. Holy, 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 quote, mysterious river of tears under the street. It's Allen Ginsberg. Holy, holy, holy. Quote, buy a goddamn big car and drive, he said. Drink, she said. Toke, he said. Fight, she said. Your eyes flinch with boots stomping a thousand times and tears streak your cheeks, laugh and tap fingers to the twitching. One, two, buckle my shoe. Three, four, shut the door. This is it. No gimmicks, no limits. Ghost boots drop through our psyches. Hello, paradise. Paradise, goodbye. So I stop here. Yeah. <laughs> thank you, thank you for being here. <laughs> I, I need lots of help. Please give me help. Help me pronounce those names of places I've never been. <laughs>